One of the most significant strikes in American entertainment history has finally came to an end with the National SAG after board approving a new contract with all major studios late on Friday evening. This strike lasted a whopping 118 days, marking not only one of the longest strikes in Hollywood history, but also one of the broadest as it widely overlapped the writer's strike by the Writers Guild that ended in September. The nanny Fran Dresser, who happens to be the president of SAG AFTRA, wrote out some of the details of this deal that I wanted to share with you and they included things such as what she called over 1 billion in new wages and benefit plans that are set to roll out over the three years that the term of this contract is set for. Sagas came out and called this the largest deal in industry history. It will be interesting to see how this rolls out the next couple years, the increases they will see and how it plays in part to the next deal three years down the line. They also negotiated a new fund that will help compensate performers when they work on streaming shows you know one of the largest gripes have been Hollywood versus streaming and getting compensated less well this is set to kind of offset that however they did have to concede from their original demand of 2% of streaming revenue being set to go to this fund to only around 40 million a year so it's un it's unclear how much the union is going to have to fork over to this fund to help it stay up and functioning, most performers will feel an immediate 7% wage increase with an 11% wage increase for background actors happening immediately with additional increases coming again each single year in 24 and 25. Some more personal inner workings were also put into the deal such as hair and makeup services for more diverse groups and intimacy coordinators for nudity or simulated sex scenes. Complaints that we've seen circulating Hollywood throughout the years but ones that have not been addressed before this. One of the major gripes in Hollywood as I said has been when people make far less in their royalty payments because their work is being streamed and obviously nowadays especially after COVID streaming is becoming ever so more popular. This represents a small win on that front, them getting a fund created to help compensate them, but hopefully more will come and they have came out and said that they are not giving up on this end. Another one that was included in here, one that uh, uh, supposedly held up the deal and what kind of extended the strike to be as long as it was, was an agreement meeting an agreement over AI. With it becoming more popular and actors becoming worried about having their likeness stolen and used to produce films and shows as it would be not only cheaper but quicker for studios to do so and prior to this deal they had little to no protections from it as when they signed the last deal this wasn't even really something that was on the forefront. Now in this deal SAG will get to meet with AI companies and the board twice a year to keep up with this sort of technology to know what they're getting themselves into going forward as well as getting requirements from studios that actors give informed consent that is that they have to be told exactly what their likeness is going to be used for it's not just a hey can we use this and they say yes it has to be detailed they have to know and they have to agree to every part of it and when they, it is used they have to get a fair compensation that is equal to or close to what their normal pay for the creation and the use of their digital replicas as what they would be acting in their physical form physical form I, I'm Dragon Ball Z this is not my final form you know no but actors are already returning to work now that this tentative agreement has been reached as it's planned to be passed in the vote uh, that goes to the union and this not only represents a huge win for SAG after but if we step back it's a huge win for collective bargaining power as a whole unions and the workforce all together with the Kaiser strike the UAW strike the subway strike all these big name strikes happening in these last couple years that have been empowered not only by the Biden administration but by the workforce in, in and of itself social media bringing these problems more to the forefront the proletariat has never been more empowered than it has now now, these decisions are constantly going in the favor of the unions. Workers are getting more fair, fairly compensated. They're reaching deals that are, are a little bit more fair to the workers. Obviously, we're not going to ever get fully there under capitalism. But we're, we're, when you see wins like this, it is exciting to see what's to come because the workforce is finally, finally ready to put their foot down and take what's theirs.